Terrell serving 30 to life for a murder charge. And she's one of ORW's most notorious inmates. Every dorm has what we call the players, the people who are being abusive or aggressive to people. And Dory is one of those, those, those individuals. Quit doing that. I swear to God, I'm cussing you out later on. But Terrell's kind of power sets her apart from the other inmates of Hale and takes a form unique to the women's world. She is the head of a prison pseudo family. While men's prisons have their gangs, female inmates do more than click up. <laughs> they create families and play distinct roles. Nephew, where you going? <laughs> what happened in meds? Come here, come back when you get your ice. Okay. More vulnerable inmates in need of protection become daughters and nieces. More masculine women, nephews and brothers. And the most dominant inmates, women like Dory Terrell, assume the role of father or uncle. This my nephew, Carlos. Close daddy, man. This is my brother, Bird, right here. What's up, man? This is my daughter, Leopold, right here. This is my baby right here. I talked to her mom on the phone, and, and she let her mom know that I'm like her dad. And she let me feel yeah, OK. Lady. Some call me Uncle Dory, Uncle Doe. Some call me Dad. I'll see you later. Love you, Uncle They don't call me Mom or Auntie or anything like that because I am very, very aggressive. You just over your friend all the way around the board. Do you care? This is about the only in this cottage that's there for you like that. When you got up, your should have came with you. We in the joint. Coming to me, you get aggressive advice from me, like your dad or your uncle. You get ag aggressive consequences. I was handling this. Sorry. Sorry, nothing. I don't let nobody get in this in your When I'm at you and I'm getting on you, I don't let nobody say to me about you. Terrell has adopted 30 young inmates into her surrogate family. And while role playing may seem like a game, building close relationships is key to every inmate's survival. In a dorm like Hale, where rivalries can lead to violence, I bet you I bet you Terrell offers protection. In exchange, family members cook, clean, and obey her authority. I wouldn't necessarily say I use them. I would say I trade with them, which is a give and take thing. If I buy the food and I run around and I hustle and make a way for us to eat, because your family's not sending you anything, you're going to wash my dishes. Come here, nephew. I might need you to clean up tomorrow, too, OK? Then if you don't, you're not going to eat my food. Thank you, Uncle Dorby. You're welcome. If we were a, a, a biological family, dad brings food home, the children do the dishes. Hurry up. Yeah, I like men at the center. I like being in control, you know? I like being in control of myself and in control of them. Here, give me some ice, baby. Do I enjoy the power? I acknowledge the power. My mother wouldn't talk to me the way she talks to me. My father would talk to me the way my, that she talks to me. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Uncle Doug go get at you flat out. She gonna, she gonna cuss you out. She almost made me today. <laughs> Relationships between inmates are a fact of life here, ranging from cliques like Terrell's to romantic couples. I want a relationship. I want somebody who's going to love me and care for me, someone that I can love and care for as well. You want to make me coffee too, right? Yeah, so give me yours. She cooks for me. She makes my bed when it's messed up. She does whatever I tell her to do. She's my girlfriend. Here, baby, here's your coffee. Where's the ice at? and I take care of her, and I make sure nobody messes with her. I love you. I love you, too. I do do everything for her. I enjoy doing for Ronnie because I care about her a lot. She takes care of me, I take care of her. That's what we do.